We're here today to give a brief update on the horrific events that were discovered this past Sunday on the 2500 block of North 21st Street. Please note that our detectives have been working tirelessly since these terrible events unfolded. We have been relentless following up on all leads. At this time, we can report that we have four persons of interest in custody. These persons of interest are all adults. We're still trying to determine what their involvement was, if any, with this homicide. No charges have been referred to the DA's office at this time. Based on evidence at the scene and with our ongoing investigation, we believe that there are multiple suspects involved in this incident. The time this incident occurred is still undetermined. On Monday, we became aware of a 911 call that was considered to be related to the investigation, but was not attributed to the address where the incident occurred. This 911 caller claimed that she was the victim, victim of a shooting and that multiple other people were shot. The caller gave two different addresses in the vicinity of where the homicides occurred, but neither one of them were on the 2500 block of North 25th Street. The call was received approximately 12 hours prior to the discovery of the victims. Officers were dispatched to both locations. However, they did not locate any evidence of the shooting and were unable to make contact with the caller. Eventually, we were able to locate the person who made the call and we were able to determine she was not a victim of the shooting. Her connection to this incident still remains under investigation. At this time, we continue to ask for assistance from our community for information. Please call the Milwaukee Police Department at 414-935-7360 to remain anonymous if you like, or contact the Crime Stoppers at 414-224-TIPS. I want to drive home a very important point today, and that's that everybody, every single one of us, every person in the city of Milwaukee is uh, responsible and has a part in public safety. In this case, I'm certain that there's somebody out there, somebody, somebody who knows something, who's seen something, who can say something to help us in this issue where there was a mass shooting and six people in our city were left dead. It's time for that person to step forward, to come up, to say something. As the chief mentioned, the police are doing everything they can to solve this crime, and I have faith that will bring the person or the people who committed this heinous act uh, to justice. You know, as I said several weeks ago, uh, at the start of the year when a young woman uh, unfortunately uh, was killed at work, we can't have a city where somebody can go and pull the trigger and kill somebody and then go sit on somebody's couch. We can't have that. When folks see something, you have to step up. You have to say something. And even if you don't come forward directly to the police department, as Chief Norman mentioned, there are opportunities for folks to, to say things anonymously, to reveal information anonymously. The Milwaukee Police Department has an anonymous tip line. Use it. Uh, Crime Stoppers has an anonymous tip line. Use it. If something happened to somebody that we care about and our own family, we'd expect the same thing. If we really want healing, and justice in our community, then we need to hold the folks who commit violent acts in our community accountable. That's very important. But in order to get to that accountability many times, we need people who have information to step up and say something. So that's what my plea is here today. That's what plea always is and always will be when somebody is hurt or killed in the city of Milwaukee. If you know something, say something. I am Alderman Russell Stanford II and represent the 15th Automatic District. And I'm very, very proud of the district in my community. And I'm here to say that this mass shooting is not representative of the district and is not representative of this city. So what we have to do in order for us to truly, truly be a safe city is work together to inform all negative behavior and negative activity before something like this occurs. And after it occurs, if it does, you have to inform the proper authorities. If you are concerned about informing the police department, call Crime Stoppers. If you are concerned about informing Crime Stoppers, 
call the Office of Violence Prevention. If you are concerned about informing the Office of Violence Prevention, contact Alderman Stamper at 414-708-0525. I love that neighborhood. I grew up over there as well. And those residents are concerned, but they also know that this is not representative of their area. Thank you very much, and please help us solve this crime, and please help us solve uh, any crime and strive towards safety in this city. Thank you very much.